sa tayo, correct usage. Um, this is for English. This can be uh, for licensure exam for teachers, NAPOLCOM, and civil service exams. Okay, so let's go with number one. I saw Lisa at the station when I was going to work this morning, but she blanked me. Okay, so here, uh, our sentence is a past form, like I saw Lisa. So that means it is a past form. So our past form here is just between uh, A and D. That's didn't, okay? But uh, when we use did, do, does, or didn't, doesn't, and don't, we always use base from the verb. So letter D is the wrong answer because we say didn't saw, it's wrong because uh, did is already in past and then saw must be in base form, that is in a past form, so it's wrong. So the correct answer is letter A, which is didn't see. Next, my friend uh, blank for me when I arrive. Okay, so there are two actions here. Um, Always remember that the longer action is in ing form and uh, the shorter action is in uh, past form. So as you can see here, the when part is always past form, so that means the other one will be, I'm sorry, will be in ing form. So in there, uh, we can say that the answer here is my friend was waiting for me, okay? Was waiting for me when I arrived, okay? Next one, that's the only past. Where's Jandy? Blank. A shower at the moment so that's uh, at the moment this one signifies that the action is taking place at the time of speaking and then and that is now when we are using the, the expression time expression at the moment now like that we always use present uh, continuous or that is am um, is r plus ing form okay so there you go the answer here is letter a because he is having is am um, is r plus ing is having Okay, so as I've said earlier, now time expressions now and at the moment always takes uh, I uh, am is R plus ing form. So the answer here is letter A. Letter B is not, of course. Letter C and D are not answers. Okay, next number four, Linda is from Davao. She uh, blank there for all her life. Okay, so this one calls for a present perfect tense. It is because uh, all her life, that's expression that when uh, since she was born until now okay so as i've explained earlier in uh, on my video about uh, present perfect tenses mayroon tayo doon na uh, time expressions all her life for for 10 years like that we always use uh, present perfect in there okay so present perfect tense is always has or have plus past participle and the answer here is just letter b which is has or have plus past participle of live okay so she has lived there uh, all her life okay so number five we say martin is english but he lives in france blank three years okay this one is time expressions uh, uh, we when there is like a total time we always have the the what's this the four or in uh, prepositions okay so the answer here is four like martin is english but he lives in france for uh three years okay next one what blank next weekend okay so this one next weekend although it's future you always have to take note that uh, when it is planned it is going to be uh, stated in present continuous form okay so what are you doing next weekend ganun siya okay plan you must uh i'll be go I'll, I'll be uploading video also of like when to use will and be going to uh which means future, okay? There you go. Number seven, he is studying law at the university, okay? At the university. Number eight, what is the largest river in the Philippines? In is used with the name of countries, cities, and stuff like that, okay? Next, is there anything on television this evening? Okay, television or TV, we say on, okay? The preposition. We arrive blank the hotel after midnight so we say at a specific point uh, a specific point we say at the hotel okay at the airport like that next where's mike he is on holiday okay holiday vacation we use pre uh, preposition on okay there you go next number 12 tom hasn't got up yet he's still in bed in bed the expression linda is away she's been away okay she has been away Okay, so, so since start of the time, we say since, okay? She has been away since Monday, okay? Start of the time is always since, and 
uh, total period of time like 3 years, 10 years like that, we use 4. Okay? But since here is the tar start of the time one day, that is since. Okay, next number 14. Uh, the next meeting is, okay, this is a day or date. Okay, day and date we use on. So we say on. The next meeting is on April 15 or 15th of April. Okay, there you go. Next one. I usually go to work by car. We all say by car, by train. Okay. But when I say I usually go to work on foot. Okay, by car, by train, by bus, by, by, by plane, like that, okay? If there's too much sugar in my coffee. Of course, there's like, uh, in your coffee, this is like a box-like structure. So, we always use in, okay? If surface, we use on. Kevin has lived in Baguio, okay? So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, we have to use for because the total expression, uh, the total time is given, which is 6 months. So, we say for. Oh, the two answers here. There are two answers here. I'm sorry. It says, Kevin has lived in Baguio in 6 months or for 6 months. It's fine. C or D. Uh, pag period ng time. Okay, and there you go. Were there a lot of people at a party? Okay, at the party, that expression. What are you doing? Blank, at the moment. So, at the moment. At the moment. Are you writing? I don't know what any of the people on this pho photograph. Okay. Next one. The train was very slow. It stopped at every station. At station. Always uh, that expression. At station. At the station. I like this room, number 22. I like the pictures on the walls. Because wall is a surface, just surface we use on. Okay? There you go. Did you buy that pictures? No. It was given to me by a friend of mine. Okay? So it's a preposition by. I'm going away in a few days. Okay? In a few days. Or for a few days. Okay, dalawa siya, pag, pag period ng time. Okay, total period of time. Next, I'll be back on Thursday because this is a date. Day and dates we use on. Sylvia has gone to Italy. Okay, so we say, has gone to Italy, has gone to the Philippines, has gone to Japan. Okay, she is in Manila at the moment. So, I, I've told you cities, countries, we use in preposition. And left school at 15. Okay, specific age. The, uh, she got a job in a shop. Okay, it says in a shop. Who is the best player? Okay, so with with the superlative uh, superlative degrees of adjectives like the best, most, uh, what more, ugliest, prettiest, like that we always use the article the. Okay, so who is the best player in your team? Is there a bank near here? Okay, so this is is there a bank near here? Because you are not uh, you are. Uh, not certain if there is a bank or not okay so you would say a bank but if you are certain that there is only one bank in us in, in in that certain place we say the bank okay is the bank open uh, is there a bank uh, is there what was this? Uh, is the bank open at 7 like that okay because you're referring to only one bank in a certain a certain place okay Number 32, I can't ride a horse, okay? So, that's singular now, a horse. So, it's a general idea. It's a just a general idea. Any type of horse, you can't ride it, okay? But if you, if you are referring to the horse in your house, if you only have one house, uh, one horse in your house, you would say, I can't ride that, uh, uh, the horse, okay? That's the difference between the article a or an and the, okay? A or an, you're not certain. There are so many and then you are just referring to one. But when you use the, the article the, you are uh, referring to only one of that thing, okay? And you only have, you have, you have nothing more but only one. Like shall we say, you have four windows. You would say, can you close a window? That means you are referring to one of those four windows. But if there is only one window, you would say, can you close the window? Okay, so that's the difference. Do you live here or are you a tourist? Okay, a tourist again. Who was the first president of the United States? Okay, uh, name of the countries with states, republic, kingdom, and uh, what more? Uh, with S. If the name of the country has S in it, we always use the, the article the. Okay, the Philippines, the Bahamas, the Netherlands, like that. And what more? The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Thailand, like that. Or the United States of America, or the State of Ohio, the State of Arkansas, like, like that. Okay? There we go. Next, I haven't got a watch. Next, last year, we had a wonderful holiday in the South. 
Okay, directions like we say north, south, east, west, we always use article the. But if there is like, if there are, what's this? If there are adjectives like southern, northern, eastern, western, like that, we don't use article the. Okay? There you go. Next, after dinner, we watch television. Okay? So, wala siyang articles. None of the above. Walang articles dapat. Yung meals of the day, we don't use articles. Okay? We don't say, uh, I have a dinner. I have the dinner. No, we don't say that. My apartment is on the second floor. Okay. Uh, ordinal numbers, we say the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, like that. Okay, so we use article the. Turn left at the top of the stairs and it's on the right. Okay, right, left. The right, the left, like that. Okay, at the top. Next one, Julia is a doctor. Okay, as a profession. Her husband is an art teacher. Okay, profession, we use articles A or I. Next, I like sports or sports i'm sorry there must be s there i like sports my favorite sport is soccer we don't have any articles there because we don't uh, use uh, articles with uh, sports next i usually listen to the radio while i'm having breakfast okay the radio the radio like that expressions the radio the piano like that uh, Everest is blank highest. Uh, as I've told you earlier, superlative degree of adjectives, we use the. Okay? Everest is the highest mountain in the world. The world, uh, the world, the sky, the moon, we, do, we say that. Gary will, was ill last week. Walang article dyan. So he didn't go to work. Walang article. Okay? So the answer is letter D. Kate never writes letters. We don't have article also in here. I can't remember names. Walang articles also. Shall I phone the restaurant to reserve a table? So the purpose, to reserve. Purpose, what's the purpose? To reserve a table. Next one. I wasn't feeling very well, but the medicine made me feel better. Okay, so expressions make me like that. We always use the base form of the verb. Okay, so there you go. Uh, next one. Would you like blank for dinner on Saturday? Would you like? Okay, so we say, would you like to come? Okay, next one. Uh, did you use a dictionary to translate? Why did you use the dictionary? To translate. Okay, so that's to translate. Uh, did you use the dictionary to translate, translate the letter? Okay, so next we say, I blanked because my shoes were too big for me. Okay, I were too big, so it's passive. So it fell over. Or I mean, sorry, I fell down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I fell down because my shoes were too big for me. Next one, the plane blanked late but landed on time, so it took off. Why? Because uh, here it's landed and it's past form, so we say it took off. The plane took off late but landed on time. Next one, Sandara was very late because her car broke down. Broke down. Next, a man was blanked by a car. Knocked over by a car. Knocked over. Was knocked over by a car in the accident. Next one, Tom blanked smoking for five years. Tom gave up. Okay, five years ago, expressions ago, that is always uh, past form. So we say gave up. Letter B. Next one, if you make uh, mistakes, if you make mistakes, if you make mistakes, cross them out. Cross them out. I'm sorry. It's letter C. Cross them out. Gen C blanked the picture in the trash box last night. So last night is past form. So we say threw away. That's letter B. Next number, the water wasn't clean. So we didn't go swimming. Okay. So it's purpose. Next one, it's a nice house. Okay, so the, there are two opposing ideas here. So the our our conjunction is but. It's a nice house, but it hasn't got a garden. Okay, so that, that's that's it. My brother is married and lives in London. Okay, both are positive sentences, so we use and conjunction and. Jamalul is blank writing letter. Uh, which is say I am bad at. I am good at. Okay, so we say Jamalul is bad at writing letters. Okay, so ganon I'm not interested in sports. 
okay? I'm not interested in sports. She always goes to work on foot, okay? On foot lagi. But we say by car, by train, by plane, like that. The car was traveling at, okay? So, pag may ganitong klaseng questions, you always have to use at. At 50 kilometers an hour when accident happened, when the accident happened. He is reading a book. On grammar by Vera Paul. Okay? Trains can travel at very high speeds. Okay, high speeds. At very high speeds. Do you know how to put a film in this camera? In this camera. Okay, so because uh, again, box like structure, we always use preposition in. Pag surface siya on. Okay, I was walking along the road with my dog. Okay, so we say. Along the road. I am going to meet Fahajandi at the station. I, I told you earlier the expression at the station, at the airport, like that. What does she usually do at the weekend? Okay, what does she usually do at the weekend? Base form do because our question has the word does. Okay, so do, did, does always based form the verb. So we say, what does she usually do? Next one, I don't understand what do you, what do you mean? Okay, mean, letter B kasi uh, yung base form, uh, yung, yung helping verb natin, do. Okay? So, it must always be followed with the base form of the verb. Next, Julia wants to go to the concert, but she doesn't have. Oh, wait, it says, Julia wants to go to the concert, but she hasn't got. I'm sorry. Hasn't got. Hasn't got. Pwede siyang doesn't have, but wala sa choices, so we say hasn't got. Next one, because it's singular, Julia, uh, she is a singular. It's a nice house, but it hasn't got a garden. Oh, bumalik siya. Okay, anyway. Was the weather good when you were on holiday? Okay, was the weather, because it's past, so we say when you were on holiday. Okay, when you were on holiday. Past, kasi siya, was the weather. Next one, Andrea came into the room, took off her coat, and sat down. It's letter C, because uh, parallelism came into the room, came is past form, took off is past form, so we say sat down, okay? Let her see. Next one, Nathaniel Adrian has been studying medicine at the university for three years now. Okay. Or in three years now. In, C or D. In and four. Because, uh, what's that? Total time. Next one, in what way were the heroes of the Philippine epic similar to the oldest uh, epic Beowulf? Okay. The school's auditorium can hold. Okay, can hold because our modal here can is always followed with based on the verb modals. Like for example, will, can, should, could, what more, may, might. Okay, that's that always. Uh, they are always followed with the base form of the verb. Next one, the Germans practice truth, frankness, and straight dealing, but loyalty is there. Okay, is there greatest virtue? Germans practice truth. So it's present form, so we are going to use present form in here. But loyalty is the subject. Loyalty singular, we say is. Okay, there we go. The business solution company of the Ayalas. Okay, so yung, yung uh, subject natin, business solution company. Is the leading company in the industry. Okay, so is singular siya kasi yung company is singular. So is singular. Not was kasi hindi naman siya past. It's stating a, a fact. Next, number 81, the landlord of these apartments, the landlord of these apartments, so yung subject natin is landlord, okay, is my best friend. Next one, the guy carrying the goods, the guy carrying the goods, okay, so our subject is the guy, so we say looks good, uh, looks tired, okay, singular guy, so singular verb has S, so we say is looks. One of those methods, so subject is one, not methods, because methods is an object of the preposition of, and it does not affect the subject verb agreement. So one of those methods, one, singular, is the best letter C. Next one, 84, the second batch of applicants. So second batch is just one group of applicants now are now, uh, the second batch of applicants. Applicants is an object of the preposition of, but yung subject natin, it's singular, so we say is now on their way to the manager's office. Okay, so the University of the Philippines as well as UST and uh, 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 Ateneo de Manila University or ADMU is the top, is two top 
Ah, well, sorry, sorry. Belongs. I'm sorry. Belongs. Belongs. Singular kasi yung subject natin is UP lang. University of the Philippines. Uh, UST and uh, ADMU are just... Uh, what's that? Intervening phrase uh, introduced by as well as. As well as together with in addition to like that, it doesn't affect the subject verb agreement. Remember that. Next. The mountaineering group together with the medical group. Okay. Together with, as I've told you, so mountaineering group is singular. So we say, is on top of the mountain now. Now is the president together with his secretaries okay so lagi ko tong pinopo sa question na to laging may nagsasabing plural siya kasi yung subject president at saka secretaries uh, uh, i've said it earlier na uh, phrases intervening phrases introduced by together with as well as in addition to does not affect the subject uh, do not affect the subject verb agreement so our subject here is the president which is singular so we say is on holiday letter c Next one, the chairman of the com uh, of the committee. That's of the committee. I'm sorry. That's not if. The chairman of the committee as well as the members. Okay, chairman is a singular, so is on their way to Hong Kong. Next, some of the residents in the village. So it's plural. Some of the residents there. There are some of them. So it's plural, not in favor of the law. Are not in favor of the law, which is letter D. Next one, somebody in one of the rooms. Somebody is okay. Yung uh, indefinite pronouns, somebody, something, someone, nobody, nothing, no one, everybody, everything, everyone, what more, anybody, anything, anyone, they always take singular verb, okay? These singular indefinite pronouns. So, somebody is subject here, rooms is this object of the preposition in, so it does not affect the subject verb agreement again, so the subject is somebody and the verb is is, okay? Somebody in one of these rooms is screaming. Okay, so the main store as well as the key branches. I, I told you this one already. So the main store is singular. So we say opens. Remember that if the subject is singular, the verb is singular. Singular verb has S. Singular subject has no S. Or pag plural subject, may S, pero yung verb natin walang S. Magpalitan lang yan silang dalawa. Okay? Nobody. This is what I told you. Nobody seems interested. Nobody. Nothing. No one. Everybody. Everything. Everyone. Singular lagi. Nobody seems. Nobody singular. So, yung verb natin na singular is seems. My S. Okay? Lagi nyo tandaan yan. Pag yung singular yung subject, yung verb singular din. Singular verb, my S. Yung singular subject, walang S. Pero pag yung subject natin plural, my S, yung verb natin walang S. Remember nyo yan. Lagi. The jeepney as well as the tricycles. Jeepney is just one. Okay? Is a genuine Filipino invention. Next one, the producer and director. Okay, so number 94 and 95 are actually related. Now, after and, if there is article the, that means there are two different people. Okay, so the producer and director means only one person. Okay, kasi walang article after and. So, the producer and director is an alumnus of the University of Southern Philippines, Southeastern Philippines. Next one, number 30 and 95, this is plural of course, kasi sinabi ko may the. So, the pro producer and the director are alumni of the University of the Southeastern or Southern Mindanao. Either P P Peter or his children. Okay, so yung expression na either or, neither nor, ang subject is always after or and nor. Okay, so either Peter or his children. After or, the subject is children. So it's plural, so it takes plural verbs. So are going on holiday, okay? Either Peter or his children. Subject is children because after or. Remember that lagging. Either or expression. So, are going on holiday. Next one, either the cabinet secretaries or the head of state. Okay, subject natin is head of state kasi after or siya. So, singular siya, head of state, singular. So, he is going to attend the meeting. Remember nyo na, lagi. So, the theory of equations professor and academic con contest coach, engineer, uh, blank, engineer charito level is. Okay, is. Because, sabi ko sa inyo, pag, ano, uh, theory of equations professor and, after and, kung walang da, that means is, it only refers to one person kasi pag may da dyan, there are two different people remember nyo yan either the wife or the husband okay subject natin again husband so singular so is managing the family business neither the president nor the senators okay so ito yung sinabi ko either or neither nor ang subject natin is always or after or and after nor so the senators is plural so this is our subject so plural verb dapat so are having a meeting right now Next one, either the members or the manager of the El Nido group. Okay, so after or is manager, which is singular, so singular verb. Okay, either the members of the, or the manager of the El Nido group has a problem. Okay, has a problem. Or you can also, uh, we can also say, 
uh, we can also say is a problem. It also makes sense. Okay. Next, either the members of or I'm um, sorry, sorry. Mathematics. Okay, my binjan, which is past participle, so that means present perfect siya. So it's either has or have. But since mathematics is singular, so it's has. That's letter D. Okay. Next one. 300,000 uh, 300, pesos blank enough. So, it's amount of money. So, singular. Amount of money, distance, and what more? Amount of money, distance, and quantity. We always use uh, singular verbs. So, we say 300,000 pesos is enough to open a grocery. The 500 peso bills. Okay. The 500 peso bills. So, ang subject natin, hindi siya amount. 500 peso bills. So, that means, hindi natin alam kung ilan. So, hindi siya amount. Ang subject dyan is yung bills. So, it's plural. Okay? Are being faked by big time syndicates. Next one. Many of the young boys. Many of the young boys. So, a lot of them. Look older than me. Okay, look. So, many of the young boys. Who, uh, many, of course. A lot. Kasi boys. Uh... May S yung subject natin, so yung verb natin walang S, so we say look. Okay, so many of the young boys look older than me. Okay, so a number of survivors. Okay, so yung expression na a number and the number, 106 and 109, kung ma-check nyo yan, a number is always plural verb, and then the number is always singular verb. Okay, the number expression and a number. A number is plural, so we say a number of survivors have been. Kasi have been, kasi been siya, yung verb natin dito past participle, so it's either has or have since a number is plural, so we say have, letter B, okay oh, number 109 muna tayo para mano the number of retirees is claiming their benefits in the GSIS, okay, the number so yan yung differences, next 107 10 years, it's a, a time, so singular lang siya 10 years is a very long time to wait singular lang lagi yan, time money, quantity 70 kilometers or distance pa. 70 kilometers even though marami siya pero it's a distance so we always use singular verb. Okay, 70 kilometers is a very long distance to travel. That's letter D. 109 is done. 110, 200 miles. 200 miles. It's a distance between the two city. Okay, so singular. Next one, one half of the cake. Okay, so pag fraction siya. Pag fraction siya. Pag afternoon ng of, object of the preposition of, kung, kung ano siya, plural siya, dapat plural verb. Pag fraction siya, tapos after ng of, ano siya, tawag na ito, yung singular lang, singular verb then So we say, one half of the cake has been eaten by Japanese. Okay, ganun dapat. Two-thirds of the men. So ito yung sinasabi ko sa two-thirds of the men. Men is plural. So we say, uh, two-thirds of the men. So that means plural also. Our subject is plural. So we say, are being affected by the pandemic. Okay, number 113, 70% of the cooking oil. Cooking oil is non-count noun and it's singular. So, 70% of that is also singular. Uh, or is placed in the warehouse. It's not has kasi wala tayong, kahit mag has tayo dyan, hindi siya has placed. Hindi siya yung ano. It doesn't make sense actually. 89% of the students, okay? 89% of the students, percentage din ng count noun, uh, plural din siya. So, 89% of the students are Catholics, okay? At the end of the course, okay, so, alam na natin yan. At the end of the course, all students have to take the test. Next, number 116, blank. Oh, there is a photograph. There is a photograph. There is and there are. The difference is, laging tingnan nyo yung afternoon. After ng there is and there are, kung singular or plural. Kasi, is photograph is singular, so we say there is. Okay? Next one, 117. Uh, there was a party at the club last Friday. Last Friday is a... Uh, what's that? Last Friday is past expression. Time expression. So we say, there was, not there are or there is. Okay? There was letter A. Next one. When we arrived at the cinema, there was a long queue. When we arrived, this past form. So, there was a long queue to see the film. I'll do number 109. I'll do my packing today because... 
uh, I'll do my packing today because there is no time tomorrow or there will be no there there is no time tomorrow kasi uh, you decided it now so you are you are saying it in a process actually in schedule we use present form like the concert begins at 8 to 9 like that blank 10 kilometers from the airport to the city center it is 10 kilometers singular shop kasi 10 kilometers is the distance Anna Marie isn't working isn't working this week isn't working this week okay ing4 this week uh, yung time natin this week kasama siya dun sa time kung saan siya sinasabi yung idea so it is also present continuous tense is also being used with that next 112 it it might rain so take an umbrella with you so you're not sure so just take an umbrella with you so it might rain okay so hanggang dito muna um yung grammar natin identifying errors uh, later on in the, in the next video and i am inviting you guys to please do subscribe on my youtube channel and uh hit the bell button para sa notification of my future videos and also i am inviting you to visit my instagram teacher seppi 10 okay teacher seppi 10 uh dikit dikit yan or my tiktok account teacher seppi dikit dikit lang din okay teacher seppi bye bye good luck